somebody else's problem can easily become your problem and your life. So beware and be careful, stay aware and just tie, tie always. Welcome aboard the Just Tired Now ship with your host, Captain Naga. Today's episode, I'm here by this open view as you are witnessing. It's so beautiful and it's nice outside today. Hope y'all tires are having a wonderful morning, evening, night, midnight special. Wherever this is hitting you. Here, take this energy. Now that we all in the same boat, we can start the conversation. All right. Today's episode, Captain Naga wishes to talk about how to say no when needed. Keyword, when needed. So, we're going to start with my life. Use my, put my guts on the floor for an example. I used to say yes to a lot of things. I used to be cool with a lot that was going on around me for the good or for the bad. For me, I was just experiencing life. And as I look back now, it was in its totality because I was just accepting the good and accepting the bad and just taking it all in. Like say I had a group of friends that rap. I had a group of friends that just listened to metal and hated rap. I had a group of friends that skateboarded. I had a group of friends that liked to tag. I had different, what I'm saying is I had many different groups of friends and they were all distinctively different from each other. Like they were all their own cliques, so to say. But I was cool with being in each one when I was younger because I never said no. For me, I accepted a lot. So say somebody will say something, I was like, oh yeah, I feel you. I really do feel you. Now that I'm older now, now that I'm tying and I'm seeing where I am now in life, that is very awesome that I was able to put in practice being able to feel other people's energies. I have another episode on empaths that I really wish to tie on, go really deep with that. But it was being young, you can't differentiate things that you need to say no to sometimes when needed that's the key word when needed so it will be certain patterns of speech that i would pick up on or i will agree to certain ways of looking at women or certain art pieces certain video games just really adapting a life to people that i wish to be around i was able to adapt my whole morals around the group of people that I was in. I was never like a singular person. I was molding into different forms and I was this person there and then that person there. And growing up, it must have confused me without me even realizing it. And that's why I wish to tie on this with y'all because you're probably doing the same thing, but you're not realizing how damaging it probably or most likely is to your life. It is so strange to think that if you said no then, you would be in another place now. Or how you think that you wanted to say no, but that was an arrow of thought. And since we didn't have those mind patches, a lot of us when we grow up traumatized and grow up in city-like situations and grow up where, where you got a lot of expectations put on you, where, and also with the expectations, a lot is not also expected of you, so. Growing up in those kind of environments, when you're around people that you care about, new friends, new family members, and you're trying to like really work it out with them, you adjust your morals and behaviors to those said people instead of just walking in like, this is, hey, this is me. Let's have some fun. Y'all gonna not like some things I say. Y'all gonna adore and love most things that I say. But that's the balance of life to go back i was growing up mostly not saying things that would cause controversy in another person's psyche or in their life i always made sure that everybody around me was just chilling and relaxing in their environment 
But little did I know that I was holding myself back. I was holding my own potential back because we all have different levels of awareness. Most ever, thousand people can read a book and depending on their level of consciousness, they'll be able to dive deeper and get different meanings out of it. Different levels of meanings. Some people just say, oh, that was a nice book. Some people say, oh, it changed my life. Some people will say, oh, so this is how the universe is. Some people say, oh, this is the secret of life. Some people say, oh, this was just some bullshit. There's many different factors from just reading one book. The person sitting next to you can have a whole nother world of thoughts different than you. And you can believe whatever you want if they're, you can believe whatever you want. Just two individual personalities. So it's just bound to be two different worlds. This is your world. You change your world for the better based off your thoughts alone. People encourage you, but those encouragements are just there to that hope encouragement. Like in the past video, believe you just convert that hope into a belief system. And then once you use those new belief systems, you can now see new worlds. You can now see your visions that's been just stuck in your head. And that all comes with learning to say no when needed. As these examples are trying to say. <laughs> Saying no in difficult situations for me was really hard. Mostly when it came to like how I wish to spend my time throughout the day. Because we go a lot of, we as humans, we don't like to be lonely we don't wish to be lonely we want to be a part of the world and when we are not feeling like that at least for me it's because I was it's because of some sort of depression it's because of some thought some arrow of thought penetrated your defenses and now they they shooting you up and you just like I'm just gonna sit here and be dead I'm just gonna sit here dead I'm dead all right life is just gonna pass on by and I'm just gonna sit here that's that's not how it's supposed to be so when you're so attached throwing yourself out there when you feeling like that you're gonna it's gonna be hard to say no in difficult situations because of the fact that you want to fit in with your surrounding family and friends as much as possible because inherently we're all connected we're just living individual lives as I was saying we create our own worlds here it's very trippy but it's very true just because it's trippy just because it's trippy that just means you have to tie a lot more just tie just think about it combine your mind with your heart and start the tying all right <laughs> but learning to say no will benefit you so greatly because it will allow you to spend your time how you focus your day and what you want to do with your day a lot more a lot more beneficial to growing growing yourself and building a firm foundation it is nice to put away your time for other people I will say that because when we that's part of the game when you give out and dish out stuff in return it's going to it's going to benefit you it's going to bring you up and build you up and the universe is going to reward you for taking a little day out of your time. But for me, I really had to learn to center myself and see what I wanted to do with my own life. And once I really figured that out, it took a lot of moments. In order to get to that point, I will say, in order to get to that point, it took me to be alone for a long time. And that was kind of hard because I was, as I was saying, we all have that need to be outside and to be with other people. But for me, I had to take the time to go out in nature. Nature really helped connect myself with myself. And when I, when I was practicing that, going out, not knowing a real destination, but just saying, I'm just going out in nature be one with my thoughts, whatever thoughts rumbling on. I didn't go out with headphones all the time. I still rarely do. I like for my thoughts to just come at me, just come at me and I'll just deal with them there in my pure state. 
and not really fight the thoughts, but let them embody me. And then I look at it and see if I wish to continue thinking these kind of thoughts. Cause when a thought appears to your head, you thought it before, but now it's just real apparent to you. And now it's like, you gotta make a life or death situations. And when you're alone, when I was alone, I was diving myself. I was really going deep into myself, like layers upon layers. And I was just seeing, what am I really thinking that's holding me back? My thought, some thought is holding me back. And once I was able to say, all right, this is holding me back. I don't want to think like that no more because I'm successful. I love myself. So I'm not going to think that when somebody is saying this, they are really trying to say this. I'm changing. For me, I was, had to, ah, I'm going for a single thought that I was thinking back before. And it was, I have a huge inner critic that when people say something, I think that they really saying something else. When really everything was all cool and simple. It was just me talking to myself instead of listening, instead of opening up. And once I learned how to say no, I'm not, I can't do this right now. I'ma just take my butt out in nature and find myself. I was able to grow, but then no took a lot because a lot of people found it strange that I was spending some time to myself, but not really completely, but I wasn't sad. It's like, how are you still happy? What are you doing? <laughs> and for me, I wasn't like trying to say, oh, I'm finding myself. But I was just like, hey, I'm chilling. I'm all right, I'm chilling. That's just my personality that I guess likes to exhibit. I'm a Sagittarius, I'm always chilling. <laughs> I'm always focused and I'm always thinking at the same time. So, so it's a lot of commotion always going on with me unless I find that center focus and that peace of mind and I learned how to say no when needed. <laughs> but learn to switch it around. Sometimes I was saying no when not needed and that's why I keep saying we have to learn when to say no when needed. I was saying no a lot of times when I needed to not say it and I really needed to be there all in all I was getting growing stubborn <laughs> and a part of my life I was growing real stubborn and I would just say no this is the way it's supposed to be no this is how it is because I was a lot of us go and get a lot of knowledge and we read a lot of books and we think that we're experiencing life so happy be handily that nobody else's experiences matter and that our experiences can tell them what to do no matter what the A was going through and when you really coming off like a cactus check out the video don't be a cactus I filmed it in front of a giant cactus it was very awesome but <laughs> don't be a cactus that's when saying no becomes too easy is when you just say, nope, nope, I got it. I got this, I got this. And you're only letting people say five words. Saying no in those circumstances will make you miss out on a ton of opportunities. Because there are some people that I would say are led by the spirit or led by higher forces to come our way. And who knows, our higher self probably sent them our way. But we were so being so stubborn that we were just like, no, the ego gets so stubborn that it just says, no, I don't want to listen to you. I don't have to listen to you. And when you hear that, ha, that ha, that's when you really need to check yourself. Whenever I hear myself and I hear my voice change into something like this and I'm like, yo, that to me <laughs> means that something in myself needs to be checked and I need to. Just breathe, just breathe, and just tie, just think about it. Oh my lord, I love airplanes, so I will capture this for y'all. Right past the sun. What a nice, nice. As I always mention, beautiful day. Take advantage of every moment that comes your way. Don't say no to everything. But to get back on the train that we was on, 
don't become too stubborn and say no to everything because I've done that in my life and I missed out on many so many opportunities that would have uplifted my own spirit and would have taught me something about myself the thing about the universe is if you deny something and you don't want to take that test right now when it's thrown in your face the test is going to reappear over and over and over again for the rest of your life in as many forms as can be conjured up in the many books that we read in the many forms that we see when we look out into the world somebody else's problem can easily become your problem and your life so beware and be careful stay aware and just tie tie always because it's a dangerous it's a dark it's a cold world out here trust me i'm from the projects north philadelphia born and raised no playground is where i spend most of my days because we ain't have one so <laughs> but man it's all love and joy in the end it's all love and joy on the other side and that's why I'm going to continue making these videos because I want to bring as many people to the other side as possible so that it can be many creators walking around and no more slaves, no more sheeple, no more sheep. Everybody is going to be talking to one another. Everybody's going to be listening to one another. Everybody is going to just be cohesive. And yes, there will still be disagreements, but there doesn't have to be war. We don't have to war. We can debate, we can disagree, we can listen, we can adjust and change our world accordingly to all of our thoughts that are in the aggregate. Aggregate. Ah! Because <laughs> the aggregate of our thoughts create our reality. We got to do this together. So learn to say no when needed, but learn to say yes when your spirit wants you to calm the ego down and just love life and you'll grow to appreciate yourself a lot more <laughs> as you can see this is nearing the end of the video so i thank you for watching and for taking the time out to tie with captain naga it's a beautiful day let's learn to say hooray hooray <laughs> this is captain naga Asking you to drop some likes if you like this video. Drop some comments below and subscribe, please. Sometimes I drop one. Sometimes I drop two videos. You do not want to mess out. Be sure to check us out on Patreon. The donations will help support this channel. Help buy better equipment. Higher quality camera. So I can continue to bring the best of the best to you as much as I can. Five videos a week is the goal. Until next time, it's Captain Naga asking you. We all tie, but do we really tie? Sometimes I don't know, dude. Sometimes I don't know. Until next time, it's Captain Naga. Chilling, relaxing, vibing out. Have a beautiful day. School! Somebody else's problem can easily become your problem and your life. So beware and be careful, stay aware, and just tie. Tie always.